Why do I only seem to ever make really small ice creams? Well, that's because I have to eat them. Nine times out of ten in these videos, I am eating the ice cream. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to gain a ton of ice cream weight. So I usually make a small portion for the video. Also, the lens that I use to film on my iPhone 12, it kind of distorts things a little bit. So the fisheye lens makes things look smaller when they're farther away and then bigger when they're close up. So it distorts the view of it all. You can see when I lifted the ice cream up to the camera, it looked a little bigger. And now when I put it away, it looks a little smaller. See the difference? This is the largest size ice cream you can order. If you can see, it's pretty big compared to my hands. With this size, you get six portions of toppings. Most people get confused by this and they think that they're going to get a ton of six different toppings. But what it is, is you get six portions of topping. So they're just going to get two or Oreos, two Reese's peanut butter cups, which I'm curious. Let me know. Do you say Reese's, Reese's, or Reese? Because in Canada, I guess it's Reese. Then it's time for two figure eights of caramel, which I should have done first, but I forgot. So it's fine. You know, I was talking about the camera distorting the size of things. That also happens when I look through the camera. So I'm realizing that I did not get enough ice cream for this. So I'm gonna have to get more and add it to it in a second. And then they also added a brownie. I hate online orders because I cannot read and then remember. I have to hear and remember. So I much more prefer helping actual customers that I get to engage with because my memory works a lot better that way. But then we're going to add our cookie dough as well. And I'm, not, I'm trying to find the chocolate shavings, which they didn't have any chocolate shavings out there. This is my first day at this location, so I was very confused. But Peyton went to go grab me those chocolate shavings. So I'm going to start chopping these because I have a lot of mixins in here to chop up. So we chopped up the cookie dough, the brownies, the Reese's peanut butter cups, and you don't really need to chop up caramel, but it's there. So it's getting chopped up. All of the toppings in this one do come in large sizes. So you do want to chop them up pretty well, but you don't want to pulverize them until there's nothing left. Typically, when you mix up an ice cream, you only want to mix it for about 10 seconds but for this one since it is so large we are going to chop chop fold fold it quite a bit more than we normally would just because of the large amount of ice cream i'm also currently reminding myself that i cannot forget about these chocolate shavings because i always seem to forget something with online orders because that's just the way i process things but thankfully here comes peyton and he's bringing our chocolate shavings so thank you peyton this is our largest amount of ice cream so i'm going to speed it up to the part where i add more so you can see the full size of it all once I chop, chop, fold, fold it all together to the point where I think it looks pretty good, it's time to cut it in half. So once I cut the ball in half, this will help me put it in the container a lot easier. But this is the point where I really realized how much I needed to add. So this is about a third of the size of the ice cream. So I actually need to add this exact amount to the rest of it and mix it all together so I can make it the right size. See, if you see it in the container, it's about a third of what I need. To fix that mistake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down and then take my spades. I'm going to clean them off so I can get some fresh sweet cream ice cream. So we're just going to rinse them in the spade well, shake them around so that they get nice and clean. And then if you look, they're nice and clean. This pan of sweet cream is pretty low, so it's going to be a little difficult to get all you need out. But we're going to do it. We got this. We're scooping it the same way I showed you in the last video. So it's that pointing and then pulling towards you method. Since this is a smaller amount, I'm gonna throw this a few times, but I don't normally throw these giant portions because I don't wanna play around with that much ice cream. That's a little bit much to waste if I drop it. Then it's time to chop, chop, fold, fold this new ice cream into the old ice cream. I don't need to add any more toppings because I put the right amount in the first time and I just didn't have the right amount of ice cream. So I just have to mix this together. Then I'm gonna cut that in half just so it's easier to shove it down into the container. This kind of stuff makes me super thankful for spades because I don't know how I would do this if we use regular scoopers because spades really come in handy right here so we're going to push that all down and really smooth it out and then get the rest of the ice cream throw that on top and then make sure it's nice and full for them smooth everything out make sure it's nice and clean and then throw our lid on top then take your spade and try to scrape as much as you can off the stone and then plop that on top so that you can smooth it all out and then throw that lid on there whenever the ice cream starts to get like gooey and stick to your spade it's best just to clean it off in the spade well so that you can smooth things out a lot easier watch how nice this is and it does get a little bit of water on it but that tiny bit of water you're not even going to notice it'll create such a thin layer of ice on top that it won't affect anything but now that our container is packed all nice and full we're gonna go ahead and put our spades back in the spade well and then scrape off our stone this part is pretty fun it's pretty satisfying you guys don't get to see it very often because it doesn't fit with the flow of my short videos if you made it this far let's throw a recycling emoji into the comments because i miss our paper bags i hate these plastic ones but whatever you know i don't normally loop my long videos because I want to keep them separate than the shorts, but for this one, I did. And I think it turned out pretty well, but you tell me, what do you think of it? Since I asked you a question, I think it's only fair I answer a question for you.